In mathematics, a parabola is a plane curve which is mirror symmetrical and is approximately U-shaped. It fits several other superficially different mathematical descriptions, which can all be proved to define exactly the same curves. One description of a parabola involves a point the focus, and a line the, directrix. the focus does not lie on the directrix. The parabola is the locus of points in that plane that are equidistant from both the directrix and the focus. Another description of a parabola is as a conic section, created from the intersection of a right circular conical surface and a plane which is parallel to another plane that is tangential to the conical surface, the line perpendicular to the directrix and passing through the focus that is, the line that splits the parabola through the middle is called the axis of symmetry. The point on the parabola that intersects the axis of symmetry is called the vertex and is the point where the parabola is most sharply curved. The distance between the vertex and the focus, measured along the axis of symmetry, is the focal length. The lattice rectum is the chord of the parabola which is parallel to the directrix and passes through the focus. Parabolas can open up, down, left, right, or in some other arbitrary direction. Any parabola can be repositioned and rescaled to fit exactly on any other parabola. That is, all parabolas are geometrically similar. Parabolas have the property that, if they are made of material that reflects light, then light which travels parallel to the axis of symmetry of a parabola and strikes its concave side is reflected to its focus, regardless of where on the parabola the reflection occurs. Conversely, light that originates from a point source at the focus is reflected into a parallel collimated beam, leaving the parabola parallel to the axis of symmetry. The same effects occur with sound and other forms of energy. This reflective property is the basis of many practical uses of parabolas. The parabola has many important applications, from a parabolic antenna or parabolic microphone to automobile headlight reflectors to the design of ballistic missiles. They are frequently used in physics, engineering, and many other areas. History The earliest known work on conic sections was by Menachmus in the 4th century BC. He discovered a way to solve the problem of doubling the cube using parabolas. The solution, however, does not meet the requirements of compass and straightedge construction, the area enclosed by a parabola and a line segment, the so-called parabola segment was computed by Archimedes via the method of exhaustion in the 3rd century BC, in his The Quadrature of the Parabola. The name, parabola, is due to Apollonius who discovered many properties of conic sections. It means, application, referring to, application of areas, concept, that has a connection with this curve, as Apollonius had proved. The focus directrix property of the parabola and other conic sections is due to Pappus. Galileo showed that the path of a projectile follows a parabola, a consequence of uniform acceleration due to gravity. The idea that a parabolic reflector could produce an image was already well known before the invention of the reflecting telescope. Designs were proposed in the early to mid-17th century by many mathematicians including René Descartes, Marin Mersenne, and James Gregory. When Isaac Newton built the first reflecting telescope in 1668, he skipped using a parabolic mirror because of the difficulty of fabrication, opting for a spherical mirror. Parabolic mirrors are used in most modern reflecting telescopes and in satellite dishes and radar receivers. Topic. Definition as a locus of points A parabola can be defined geometrically as a set of points, locus of points in the Euclidean plane. A parabola is a set of points, such that for any point p, p 
of the set the distance p f display style pf to a fixed point f display style f the focus is equal to the distance p l display style place to a fixed line l display style l the directrix p p f equals p l display style p p f equals place the midpoint v display style v of the perpendicular from the focus f display style f onto the directrix l display style l is called vertex in the line f v display style f v the axis of symmetry of the parabola topic in a cartesian coordinate system topic axis of symmetry parallel to the y axis if one introduces cartesian coordinates such that f equals 0 f f greater than 0 display style f equals 0 f f greater than 0 and the directrix has the equation y equals minus f display style y equals f one obtains for a point p equals x y display style p equals x y from p f 2 equals p l 2 display style pf caret 2 equals place caret 2 the equation x 2 plus y minus f 2 equals y plus f 2 display style x caret 2 plus y f caret 2 equals y plus f caret 2 solving for y display style y yields y equals 1 4 f x 2 display style y equals frac 1 4 f x caret 2 this parabola is u shaped opening to the top the horizontal chord through the focus see picture in opening section is called the lattice rectum one half of it is the semi lattice rectum the lattice rectum is parallel to the directrix the semi lattice rectum is designated by the letter p display style p from the picture one obtains p equals 2 f display style p equals 2 f the lattice rectum is defined similarly for the other two conics namely the ellipse and the hyperbola respectively the lattice rectum is the line drawn through a focus of a conic section parallel to the directrix and terminated both ways by the curve. For any case, p p is the radius of the osculating circle at the vertex. For a parabola, the semi-lattice rectum p p is the distance of the focus from the directrix. Using the parameter p 
p display style p the equation of the parabola can be rewritten as x 2 equals 2 p y display style x caret 2 equals 2 p y more generally, if the vertex is v equals v one v two, display style v equals v underscore one v underscore two, the focus f equals v one v two plus f display style f equals v underscore 1 v underscore 2 plus f and the directrix y equals v 2 minus f display style y equals v underscore 2 f one obtains the equation y equals 1 4 f x minus v 1 2 plus v 2 equals 1 4 f x 2 minus v 1 2 f x plus v 1 2 4 f plus v 2 display style y equals frac 1 4 f x v underscore 1 carrot 2 plus v underscore 2 equals frac 1 4 f x carrot 2 frac v underscore 1 2 f x plus frac v underscore 1 carrot 2 4 f plus v underscore 2 remark in the case of f 0 display style f the parabola has a downwards opening the presumption that the axis is parallel to the y-axis allows one to consider a parabola as the graph of a polynomial of degree 2, and vice versa, the graph of an arbitrary polynomial of degree 2 is a parabola see next section. If one exchanges x display style x and y display style y, one obtains equations of the form y two equals two p x display style y caret two equals two p x. These parabolas open to the left if p zero display style p or to the right if p greater than zero display style p greater than zero. Topic. General case If the focus is F equals F one F two Display style F equals F underscore one F underscore two and the directrix A X plus B y plus c equals 0 display style x plus by plus c equals 0 one obtains the equation a x plus b y plus c 2 2 plus b 2 equals x minus f 1 2 plus y minus f 2 2 Display style frac left 
max plus by plus c right carrot two a carrot two plus b carrot two equals left x f underscore one right carrot two plus left y f underscore two right carrot two the left side of the equation uses the Hess normal form of a line to calculate the distance p l display style place for a parametric equation of a parabola in general position c section as the affine image of the unit parabola the implicit equation of a parabola is defined by an irreducible polynomial of degree 2 a x 2 plus b x y plus c y 2 plus d x plus e y plus f equals Zero. Display style x caret two plus b x e plus psi caret two plus d x plus a plus f equals zero. Such that b two minus four a c equals zero. Display style b caret two minus four a c equals zero, or equivalently, such that a x two plus b x y plus c y two. Display style x caret two plus b x e plus psi caret two is the square of a linear polynomial. Topic as a graph of a function: the previous section shows any parabola with the origin as vertex and the y-axis as axis of symmetry can be considered as the graph of a function f x equals a x two with a does not equal zero. Display style f x equals x caret two text with a neq zero for a greater than zero. Display style a greater than zero. The parabolas are opening to the top and for a zero. Display style a opening to the bottom see picture from the section above one obtains the focus is 0 1 4 a display style left 0 frac 1 4 a right the focal length 1 4 a display style frac 1 4 a the semi lattice rectum is P equals one two a display style P equals frac one two a. The vertex is zero zero display style left zero zero right. The directrix has the equation y equals minus 1 4 a display style y equals frac 1 4 a the tangent at point x 0 a x 0 2 Display style left x underscore zero x underscore zero carrot two right has the equation y equals two a x zero x minus a x zero two Display style y equals two x underscore zero x x underscore zero carrot two for a equals one display style equals one. The parabola is the unit parabola with equation 
y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 its focus is 0 1 4 display style left 0 tfrac 1 4 right the semi lattice rectum p equals 1 2 display style p equals tfrac 1 2 and the directrix has the equation y equals minus 1 4 display style y equals tfrac 1 4 the general function of degree 2 is f x equals a x 2 plus b x plus c with a b c element of r a does not equal 0 display style f x equals x caret 2 plus b x plus c text with a b c in math b b r a n e q 0 completing the square yields f x equals a x plus b 2 of 2 plus 4 a c minus b 2 4 of display style f x equals of left x plus frac b 2 a right caret 2 plus frac 4 a c b caret 2 4 a which is the equation of a parabola with the axis x equals minus b 2 of display style x equals frac b 2 a parallel to the y axis the focal length 1 4 of display style frac 1 4 a the semi lattice rectum p equals 1 2 a display style p equals frac 1 2 a the vertex v equals minus b 2 a 4 a c minus b 2 4 a display style v equals left frac b 2 a frac 4 a c b caret 2 4 a right the focus f equals minus b 2 a 4 a c minus b 2 plus 1 4 of display style f equals left frac b 2 a frac 4 a c b caret 2 plus 1 4 a right the directrix y equals 4 a c minus b 2 minus 1 4 a display style y equals frac 4 a c b caret 2 minus 1 4 a the point of the parabola intersecting the y axis has coordinates 0 c 
Display style left zero c right. The tangent at a point on the y-axis has the equation y equals b x plus c. Display style y equals b x plus c. Topic. Similarity to the unit parabola Two objects in the Euclidean plane are similar if one can be transformed to the other by a similarity, that is, an arbitrary composition of rigid motions translations and, rotations and uniform scalings. A parabola P with vertex V equals V one V two display style V equals V underscore one V underscore two can be transformed by the translation x y x minus V one y Minus v two display style x y right arrow x v underscore one y v underscore two to one with the origin as vertex. A suitable rotation around the origin can then transform the parabola to one that has the y axis as axis of symmetry. Hence, the parabola p display style math call p can be transformed by a rigid motion to a parabola with an equation y equals a x 2 a does not equal 0 display style y equals x caret 2 a neq 0 such a parabola can then be transformed by the uniform scaling x y a x a y display style x y right arrow x i into the unit parabola with equation y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 Thus, any parabola can be mapped to the unit parabola by a similarity. A synthetic approach, using similar triangles, can also be used to establish this result. The general result is that two conic sections necessarily of the same type are similar if and only if they have the same eccentricity. Thus, only circles all having eccentricity 0 share this property with parabolas all having eccentricity 1, while general ellipses and hyperbolas do not. There are other simple affine transformations that map the parabola. y equals a x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 onto the unit parabola such as x y x y a display style x y right arrow left x t f r a c y a right but this mapping is not a similarity and only shows that all parabolas are affinely equivalent c section is the affine image of the unit parabola Topic as a special conic section The pencil of conic sections with the x-axis as axis of symmetry, one vertex at the origin 0, 0, and the same semi-lattice rectum p, display style p can be represented by the equation y2 equals 2px plus e2 minus 1 x2, e0 display style y caret 2 equals 2px plus e caret 2 minus 1 x caret 2 q Q quad e g e q zero with e display style e the eccentricity. 
for e equals zero display style e equals zero the conic is a circle osculating circle of the pencil for zero e one display style zero and ellipse for e equals one display style e equals one the parabola with equation y two equals two px display style y caret two equals two px and for e greater than one display style e greater than one a hyperbola see picture Topic in polar coordinates. If p greater than zero, the parabola with equation y two equals two p x display style y caret two equals two p x. Opening to the right has the polar coordinate representation. R equals two P cos phi sin two phi with phi element of minus pi two pi two zero Display style r equals two p frac cos var phi sin caret two var phi text with var phi in left t f r a c pi two t f r a c pi two right set minus zero r two equals x two plus y two x equals r cos phi display style r caret 2 equals x caret 2 plus y caret 2 x equals r cos var phi its vertex is v equals 0 0 display style v equals 0 0 and its focus is f equals p two zero display style f equals left t f r a c p two zero right. If one shifts the origin into the focus, i.e. f equals zero zero. Display style f equals zero zero. One obtains the equation r equals p one minus cos phi with phi does not equal two pi k. Display style r equals frac p one cos var phi text with var phi n e q two pi k. Remark one: inverting this polar form shows a parabola as the inverse of a cardioid. Remark two: the second polar form is a special case of a pencil of conics with focus f equals zero zero. Display style f equals zero zero. See picture. R equals p one minus e cos phi. Display style r equals frac p one e cos var phi e. Display style e eccentricity topic conic section and quadratic form topic diagram description and definitions the diagram represents a cone with its axis vertical the point A is its apex. 
an inclined cross section of the cone, shown in pink, is inclined from the vertical by the same angle, theta, as the side of the cone. According to the definition of a parabola as a conic section, the boundary of this pink cross-section, EPD, is a parabola. A horizontal cross-section of the cone passes through the vertex, P, of the parabola. This cross-section is circular, but appears elliptical when viewed obliquely, as is shown in the diagram. Its center is V, and PK is a diameter. We will call its radius R. Another horizontal, circular cross-section of the cone is farther from the apex, A, than the one just described. It has a corda, which joins the points where the parabola intersects the circle. Another chord, BC, is the perpendicular bisector of DA, and is consequently a diameter of the circle. These two chords and the parabola's axis of symmetry, PM, all intersect at the point M, all the labeled points, except D and E, are coplanar. They are in the plane of symmetry of the whole figure. This includes the point F, which is not mentioned above. It is defined and discussed below, in the paragraph, Position of the focus. Let us call the length of DM and of MX, and the length of PMY. Topic. Derivation of quadratic equation The lengths of BM and CM are B M equals 2 Y sin theta Display style overline mathem BM equals 2 Y sin theta Triangle BPM is isosceles C M equals two R Display style overline mathem C M equals two R PM C K as a parallelogram. Using the intersecting chords theorem on the chords B C and A, we get B M C M equals D M E M Display style overline Mathem BM C D O T overline Mathem C M equals overline Mathem D M C D O T overline Mathem M Substituting four R Y Sin Theta equals x 2 display style 4 ry sin theta equals x caret 2 rearranging y equals x 2 4 r sin theta Display style y equals frac x caret 2 4 r sin theta. For any given cone and parabola, r and theta are constants, but x and y are variables which depend on the arbitrary height at which the horizontal cross section BECD is made. This last equation shows the relationship between these variables. They can be interpreted as Cartesian coordinates of the points D and E, in a system in the pink plane with P as its origin. Since x is squared in the equation, the fact that D and E are on opposite sides of the y-axis is unimportant. If the horizontal cross-section moves up or down, toward or away from the apex of the cone, D and E move along the parabola, always maintaining the relationship between x and y shown in the equation. The parabolic curve is therefore the locus of points where the equation is satisfied, which makes it a Cartesian graph of the quadratic function in the equation. This discussion started from the definition of a parabola as a conic section, but it has now led to a description as a graph of a quadratic function. This shows that these two descriptions are equivalent. They both define curves of exactly the same shape. Topic. Focal length 
It is proved in a preceding section that if a parabola has its vertex at the origin, and if it opens in the positive y direction, then its equation is y equals x2, 4f, where f is its focal length. Comparing this with the last equation above shows that the focal length of the parabola in the cone is r sin theta. Equals. Topic. Position of the focus. Equals. In the diagram above, the point V is the foot of the perpendicular from the vertex of the parabola to the axis of the cone. The point F is the foot of the perpendicular from the point V to the plane of the parabola. By symmetry, F is on the axis of symmetry of the parabola. Angle VPF is complementary to theta, and angle PVF is complementary to angle VPF, therefore angle PVF is theta. Since the length of PV is r, the distance of F from the vertex of the parabola is r sin theta. It is shown above that this distance equals the focal length of the parabola, which is the distance from the vertex to the focus. The focus and the point F are therefore equally distant from the vertex, along the same line, which implies that they are the same point. Therefore, the point F, defined above, is the focus of the parabola. Equals. Topic. Alternative proof with Dandelin spheres. Equals. An alternative proof can be done using Dandelin spheres. It works without calculation and uses elementary geometric considerations only. See German article on Parabel. Equals. Topic. Proof of the reflective property equals The reflective property states that, if a parabola can reflect light, then light which enters it traveling parallel to the axis of symmetry is reflected toward the focus. This is derived from the wave nature of light in the paragraph. Description of final diagram which describes a diagram just above it, at the end of this article. This derivation is valid, but may not be satisfying to readers who would prefer a mathematical approach. In the following proof, the fact that every point on the parabola is equidistant from the focus and from the directrix is taken as axiomatic. Consider the parabola y equals x2. Since all parabolas are similar, this simple case represents all others. The right-hand side of the diagram shows part of this parabola. Equals. Topic. Construction and definitions. Equals. The point E is an arbitrary point on the parabola, with coordinates x, x2. The focus is f, the vertex is a the origin, and the line f a the y-axis is the axis of symmetry. The line e c is parallel to the axis of symmetry, and intersects the x-axis at d. The point c is located on the directrix which is not shown, to minimize clutter. The point b is the midpoint of the line segment f c. Equals. Topic. Deductions equals Measured along the axis of symmetry, the vertex, A, is equidistant from the focus, F, and from the directrix. According to the intercept theorem, since C is on the directrix, the y-coordinates of F and C are equal in absolute value and opposite in sign. B is the midpoint of FC, so its y-coordinate is 0, so it lies on the x-axis. Its x-coordinate is half that of E, D, and C, i.e., x, 2. The slope of the line B is the quotient of the lengths of ED and BD, which is x2, x2, which comes to 2x. But 2x is also the slope first derivative of the parabola at E therefore, the line B is the tangent to the parabola at E. 
The distances EF and EC are equal because E is on the parabola, F is the focus and C is on the directrix. Therefore, since B is the midpoint of FC, triangles February and CEB are congruent three sides, which implies that the angles marked alpha are congruent. The angle above E is vertically opposite angle BEC. This means that a ray of light which enters the parabola and arrives at E traveling parallel to the axis of symmetry will be reflected by the line B so it travels along the line EF, as shown in red in the diagram assuming that the lines can somehow reflect light. Since B is the tangent to the parabola at E, the same reflection will be done by an infinitesimal arc of the parabola at E. Therefore, light that enters the parabola and arrives at E traveling parallel to the axis of symmetry of the parabola is reflected by the parabola toward its focus. The point E has no special characteristics. This conclusion about reflected light applies to all points on the parabola, as is shown on the left side of the diagram. This is the reflective property. Topic: Other consequences. There are other theorems that can be deduced simply from the above argument. Topic: Tangent bisection property. The above proof and the accompanying diagram show that the tangent B bisects the angle FEC. In other words, the tangent to the parabola at any point bisects the angle between the lines joining the point to the focus, and perpendicularly to the directrix. Topic. Intersection of a tangent and perpendicular from focus Since triangles FBE and CBE are congruent, FB is perpendicular to the tangent B. Since B is on the x-axis, which is the tangent to the parabola at its vertex, it follows that the point of intersection between any tangent to a parabola and the perpendicular from the focus to that tangent lies on the line that is tangential to the parabola at its vertex. See animated diagram and pedal curve. Topic. Reflection of light striking the convex side If light travels along the line CE, it moves parallel to the axis of symmetry and strikes the convex side of the parabola at E. It is clear from the above diagram that this light will be reflected directly away from the focus, along an extension of the segment FE. Topic. Alternative proofs The above proofs of the reflective and tangent bisection properties use a line of calculus. For readers who are not comfortable with calculus, the following alternative is presented. In this diagram, F is the focus of the parabola, and T and U lie on its directrix. P is an arbitrary point on the parabola. PT is perpendicular to the directrix, and the line MP bisects angle FPT. Q is another point on the parabola, with Q perpendicular to the directrix. We know that FP. Topic. PT and FQ. Q. Clearly, QT greater than Q, so QT greater than FQ. All points on the bisector MP are equidistant from F and T, but Q is closer to F than to T. This means that Q is to the left of MP, i.e., on the same side of it as the focus. The same would be true if Q were located anywhere else on the parabola except at the point P, so the entire parabola, except the point P, is on the focus side of MP. Therefore, MP is the tangent to the parabola at P since it bisects the angle FPT, this proves the tangent bisection property. The logic of the last paragraph can be applied to modify the above proof of the reflective property. It effectively proves the line B to be the tangent to the parabola at E if the angles alpha are equal. 
The reflective property follows as shown previously. Topic. Pin and string construction The definition of a parabola by its focus and directrix can be used for drawing it with help of pins and strings. 0 Choose the focus F Display style F And the directrix L Display style L Of the parabola 1 Take a triangle of a set square and prepare a string with length A B Display style A B C diagram 2 Pin one end of the string at point A Display style A Of the triangle and the other one to the focus F Display style F 3. Position the triangle such that the second edge of the right angle is free to slide along the directrix. 4. Take a pen and hold the string tight to the triangle. 5. While moving the triangle along the directrix the pen draws an arc of a parabola, because of P F equals P B Display style PF equals PB. See definition of a parabola. Topic Properties related to Pascal's theorem. A parabola can be considered as the affine part of a non degenerated projective conic with a point Y infinity. Display style y underscore in t on the line of infinity g infinity display style g underscore in t which is the tangent at y infinity display style y underscore in t the 5, 4 and 3 point degenerations of Pascal's theorem are properties of a conic dealing with at least one tangent. If one considers this tangent as the line at infinity and its point of contact as the point at infinity of the y-axis, one obtains three statements for a parabola. The following properties of a parabola deal only with terms connect, intersect, parallel, which are invariants of similarities. So, it is sufficient to prove any property for the unit parabola with equation y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 topic 4 points property Any parabola can be described in a suitable coordinate system by an equation y equals a x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 let p 1 equals x 1 y 1 p 2 equals x 2 y 2 p 3 equals x 3 y 3 p 4 equals x 4 y 4 display style p underscore 1 equals x underscore 1 y underscore 1 p underscore 2 equals x underscore 2 y underscore 2 p underscore 3 equals x underscore 3 y underscore 3 p underscore 4 equals x underscore 4 y underscore 4 be four points of the parabola y equals a 
x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 and q 2 display style q underscore 2 the intersection of the secant line p 1 p 4 display style p underscore 1 p underscore 4 with the line x equals x 2 display style x equals x underscore 2 and let q 1 display style q underscore 1 be the intersection of the secant line p 2 p 3 display style p underscore 2 p underscore 3 with the line x equals x 1 display style x equals x underscore 1 see picture then the secant line p 3 p 4 display style p underscore 3 p underscore 4 is parallel to line q 1 q 2 display style q underscore 1 q underscore 2 the lines x equals x 1 display style x equals x underscore 1 and x equals x 2 display style x equals x underscore 2 are parallel to the axis of the parabola proof straightforward calculation for the unit parabola y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 application the four points property of a parabola can be used for the construction of point p 4 display style p underscore 4 while p 1 p 2 p 3 display style p underscore 1 p underscore 2 p underscore 3 and q 2 display style q underscore 2 are given remark the four points property of a parabola is an affine version of the five point degeneration of pascal's theorem Topic. Three points one tangent property. Let P zero equals X zero Y zero P one equals X one Y one P two equals X two Y two Display style P underscore zero equals X underscore zero Y underscore zero P underscore one equals X underscore one Y underscore one P underscore two equals X underscore two Y underscore two B three points of the parabola with equation Y equals A X two display style y equals x caret 2 and q 2 display style q underscore 2 the intersection of the secant line p 
zero p one display style p underscore zero p underscore one with the line x equals x two d display style x equals x underscore two and q one display style q underscore one the intersection of the secant line p zero p two display style p underscore zero p underscore two with the line x equals x one display style x equals x underscore one see picture then the tangent at point p zero display style p underscore zero is parallel to the line q one q two display style q underscore one q underscore two the lines x equals x one display style x equals x underscore one and x equals x two display style x equals x underscore two are parallel to the axis of the parabola proof can be performed for the unit parabola y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 a short calculation shows line q 1 q 2 display style q underscore 1 q underscore 2 has slope 2 x 0 display style 2x underscore 0 which is the slope of the tangent at point P 0 display style P underscore 0 application the three points one tangent property of a parabola can be used for the construction of the tangent at point P 0 display style P underscore 0 while p one p two p zero display style p underscore one p underscore two p underscore zero are given. Remark the three points one tangent property of a parabola is an affine version of the four point degeneration of Pascal's theorem. Topic: Two points, two tangents property. Let p one equals x one y one p two equals x two y two display style P underscore 1 equals X underscore 1 y underscore 1 P underscore 2 equals X underscore 2 y underscore 2 be two points of the parabola with equation y equals a X 2 display style y equals X carrot 2 and Q two display style Q underscore two the intersection of the tangent at point P one display style P underscore one with the line X equals X two 
display style x equals x underscore two and q one display style q underscore one the intersection of the tangent at point p two display style p underscore two with the line x equals x one display style x equals x underscore one c picture then the secant p one p two display style p underscore one p underscore two is parallel to the line q one q two display style q underscore one q underscore two the lines x equals x one display style x equals x underscore one and x equals x two display style x equals x underscore two are parallel to the axis of the parabola proof straightforward calculation for the unit parabola y equals x two display style y equals x caret two Application: The two points two tangents property can be used for the construction of the tangent of a parabola at point p two. Display style p underscore two. While p one p two. Display style p underscore one p underscore two. And the tangent at P one display style p underscore one air given remark one the two points two tangents property of a parabola is an affine version of the three point degeneration of Pascal's theorem remark two the two points two tangents property should not be confused with the following property of a parabola which deals with two points and two tangents too but is not related to pascal's theorem topic <laughs> axis direction The statements above presume the knowledge of the axis direction of the parabola, in order to construct the points q 1 q 2 The following property determines the points q 1 q 2 Display style q underscore one q underscore two by two given points and their tangents only, and the result is the line q one q two display style q underscore one q underscore two is parallel to the axis of the parabola. Let p one equals x one y one p two equals x two y two Display style p underscore one equals x underscore one y underscore one p underscore two equals x underscore two y underscore two. Be two points of the parabola. Y equals a x two. Display style y equals x caret two. And T one T two 
display style t underscore one t underscore two be their tangents q one display style q underscore one be the intersection of the tangents t one t two display style t underscore one t underscore two q two display style q underscore two be the intersection of the parallel line to t one display style t underscore one through p two display style p underscore two with the parallel line to t two display style t underscore two through p one display style p underscore one see picture then the line q one q two display style q underscore one q underscore two is parallel to the axis of the parabola and has the equation x equals x one plus x two two display style x equals t f r a c x underscore one plus x underscore two two proof can be done like the properties above for the unit parabola y equals x two display style y equals x caret two Application: This property can be used to determine the direction of the axis of a parabola, if two points and their tangents are given. An alternative way is to determine the midpoints of two parallel chords, see section on parallel chords. Remark, this property is an affine version of the theorem of two perspective triangles of a non-degenerate conic. Topic. Steiner generation Topic <inaudible> Parabola Steiner established the following procedure for the construction of a non-degenerate conic see Steiner conic given two pencils B U B V Display style B U B V of lines at two points U V Display style U V all lines containing U Display style U and V Display style V respectively and a projective but not perspective mapping Pi Display style Pi of B U Display style B U onto B V Display style B V then the intersection points of corresponding lines form a non-degenerate projective conic section. This procedure can be used for a simple construction of points on the parabola. Y equals a x two. Display style y equals x caret two. Consider the pencil at the vertex s. 0 0 display style s 0 0 and the set of lines pi y display style pi underscore y which are parallel to the y axis let p equals x 0 y 
zero display style p equals x underscore zero y underscore zero be a point on the parabola and a equals zero y zero display style a equals zero y underscore zero b equals x zero zero display style b equals x underscore zero zero the line segment b p display style overline b p is divided into n equally spaced segments and this division is projected in the direction b a display style b a onto the line segment a p display style overline ap c figure this projection gives rise to a projective mapping pi display style pi from pencil s display style s onto the pencil pi y display style pi underscore y the intersection of the line s b i display style s b underscore i and the ith parallel to the y axis is a point on the parabola proof straightforward calculation remark steiner's generation is also available for ellipses and hyperbolas Topic. Dual parabola A dual parabola consists of the set of tangents of an ordinary parabola. The Steiner generation of a conic can be applied to the generation of a dual conic by changing the meanings of points and lines. Let be given two point sets on two lines U V and a projective but not perspective mapping pi display style pi between these point sets then the connecting lines of corresponding points form a non-degenerate dual conic in order to generate elements of a dual parabola one starts with three points p 0 p 1 p 2 display style p underscore 0 p underscore 1 p underscore 2 not on a line divides the line sections p 0 p 1 display style overline p underscore 0 p underscore 1 and p 1 P two display style overline p underscore one p underscore two each into n display style n equally spaced line segments and adds numbers as shown in the picture. Then the lines p zero p one p 1 p 2 1 1 2 2 display style p underscore 0 p underscore 1 p underscore 1 p underscore 2 1 1 2 2 doge are tangents of a parabola hence elements of a dual parabola the parabola is a Bézier curve of degree 2 with the control points p 0 p 1 p 2 display style p underscore 0 p underscore 1 p underscore 2 the proof is a consequence of the de Casteljau algorithm for a Bézier curve of degree 2 
Topic: Inscribed angles and the three-point form. A parabola with equation y equals a x two plus b x plus c a does not equal zero. Display style y equals x caret two plus b x plus c a n e q zero is uniquely determined by three points x one y one x two y two x three y three Display style x underscore one, y underscore one, x underscore two, y underscore two, x underscore three, y underscore three with different x coordinates. The usual procedure to determine the coefficients A B C Display style A B C is to insert the point coordinates into the equation. The result is a linear system of three equations, which can be solved by Gaussian elimination or Kramer's rule, for example. An alternative way uses the inscribed angle theorem for parabolas. In the following, the angle of two lines will be measured by the difference of the slopes of the line with respect to the directrix of the parabola. That is, for a parabola of equation, y equals a x 2 plus b x plus c display style y equals x caret 2 plus b x plus c the angle between two lines of equations y equals m one x plus d one y equals m two x plus d two Display style y equals m underscore one x plus d underscore one y equals m underscore two x plus d underscore two is measured by m one minus m two display style m underscore one m underscore two Analogous to the inscribed angle theorem for circles one has the inscribed angle theorem for parabolas four points P I equals X I Y I I equals one four Display style p underscore i equals x underscore i y underscore i i equals one l dots four with different x coordinates. See picture or on a parabola with equation y equals a x two plus b x plus C display style y equals x caret two plus b x plus c. If and only if the angles at p three display style p underscore three and p four display style p underscore four have the same measure as defined above. That is y 4 minus y 1 x 4 minus x 
1 minus y 4 minus y 2 x 4 minus x 2 equals y 3 minus y 1 x 3 minus x 1 minus y 3 minus y 2 x 3 minus x 2 Display style frac y underscore four y underscore one x underscore four x underscore one frac y underscore four y underscore two x underscore four x underscore two equals frac y underscore three y underscore one x underscore three x underscore one frac y underscore three y underscore two x underscore three x underscore two Proof, straightforward calculation, if the points are on a parabola, one may translate the coordinates for having the equation y equals a x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 then one has y i minus y J X I minus X J equals X I plus X J Display style frac y underscore i y underscore j x underscore i x underscore j equals x underscore i plus x underscore j. If the points are on the parabola, a consequence is that the equation in x y display style color green x color red y of the parabola determined by three points p i equals x i y i i equals 1 2 3 Display style p underscore i equals x underscore i y underscore i i equals one two three. With different x coordinates, as if two x coordinates are equal, there is no parabola with directrix parallel to the x axis, which passes through the points y minus y one x minus x 1 minus y minus y 2 x minus x 2 equals y 3 minus y 1 x 3 minus x 1 minus y 3 minus y 2 x 3 minus x 2 Display style frac color red y y underscore one color green x x underscore one frac color red y y underscore two color green x x underscore two equals frac y underscore three y underscore one x underscore three x underscore one frac y underscore three y underscore two x underscore three x underscore two
multiplying by the denominators that depend on x display style color green x one obtains the more standard form x 1 minus x 2 y equals x minus x 1 x minus x 2 y 3 minus y 1 x 3 minus x 1 minus y 3 minus y 2 x 3 minus x 2 plus y 1 minus y 2 x plus x 1 y 2 minus x 2 y 1 Display style x underscore one x underscore two color red y equals color green x x underscore one color green x x underscore two left frac y underscore three y underscore one x underscore three x underscore one frac y underscore three y underscore two x underscore three x underscore two right plus y underscore one y underscore Score two color green x plus x underscore one y underscore two x underscore two y underscore one. Topic Pole polar relation. In a suitable coordinate system, any parabola can be described by an equation y equals a x two display style y equals x caret two. The equation of the tangent at a point p zero equals x zero y zero y zero equals a x 0 2 display style p underscore 0 equals x underscore 0 y underscore 0 y underscore 0 equals x underscore 0 caret 2 is y equals 2 a x 0 x minus x 0 plus y 0 equals 2 a x 0 x minus a x 0 2 equals 2 a x 0 x minus y 0 Display style y equals two x underscore zero x x underscore zero plus y underscore zero equals two x underscore zero x x underscore zero carrot two equals two x underscore zero x y underscore zero. One obtains the function x zero y zero y equals 2 a x 
zero x minus y zero display style x underscore zero y underscore zero right arrow y equals two x underscore zero x y underscore zero on the set of points of the parabola onto the set of tangents. Obviously, this function can be extended onto the set of all points of R two. Display style math b b r caret two to a bijection between the points of R two. Display style math b b r caret two and the lines with equations y equals m x plus d m d element of r display style y equals m x plus d m d in math b b r the inverse mapping is line y equals m x plus d display style y equals m x plus d right arrow point m 2 a minus d display style t f r a c m 2 a d this relation is called the pole-polar relation of the parabola, where the point is the pole and the corresponding line its polar. By calculation one checks the following properties of the pole-polar relation of the parabola. For a point pole on the parabola the polar is the tangent at this point see picture p 1 p 1 Display style p underscore one p underscore one for a pole p display style p outside the parabola the intersection points of its polar with the parabola are the touching points of the two tangents passing p display style p see picture p two p Two display style p underscore two p underscore two for a point within the parabola the polar has no point with the parabola in common. See picture p three p three display style p underscore three p underscore three and p four P four Display style P underscore four P underscore four The intersection point of two polar lines, for example P three P four Display style P underscore three P underscore four is the pole of the connecting line of their poles in example p 3 p 4 display style p underscore 3 p underscore 4 focus and directrix of the parabola are a pole polar pair remark pole polar relations exist for ellipses and hyperbolas too Topic. Tangent properties Topic. Two tangent properties related to the lattice rectum Let the line of symmetry intersect the parabola at point Q, and denote the focus as point F and its distance from point Q as F. Let the perpendicular to the line of symmetry, through the focus, intersect the parabola at a point t then 1 the distance from f to t is 2f, and 2 a tangent to the parabola at point t intersects the line of symmetry at a 45 degrees angle.
Topic: <laughs> Orthoptic property. If two tangents to a parabola are perpendicular to each other, then they intersect on the directrix. Conversely, two tangents which intersect on the directrix are perpendicular. Topic: <laughs> Lambert's theorem. Let three tangents to a parabola form a triangle. Then Lambert's theorem states that the focus of the parabola lies on the circumcircle of the triangle. Sukerman's converse to Lambert's theorem states that, given three lines that bound a triangle, if two of the lines are tangent to a parabola whose focus lies on the circumcircle of the triangle, then the third line is also tangent to the parabola. Topic. Facts related to chords Topic. Focal length calculated from parameters of a chord Suppose a chord crosses a parabola perpendicular to its axis of symmetry. Let the length of the chord between the points where it intersects the parabola be C and the distance from the vertex of the parabola to the chord, measured along the axis of symmetry, be D. The focal length, F, of the parabola is given by F equals C 2 16 D Display style f equals frac c caret 2 16 d. Proof. Suppose a system of Cartesian coordinates is used such that the vertex of the parabola is at the origin, and the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. The parabola opens upward. It is shown elsewhere in this article that the equation of the parabola is 4fy equals x2, where f is the focal length. At the positive x end of the chord, x equals c, 2 and y. Topic D. Since this point is on the parabola, these coordinates must satisfy the equation above. Therefore, by substitution, 4 f d c, 2, 2. From this, f equals c two sixteen D equals Topic Area enclosed between a parabola and a chord equals topic arc length if a point x is located on a parabola which has focal length f and if p is the perpendicular distance from x to the axis of symmetry of the parabola then the lengths of arcs of the parabola which terminate at x can be calculated from f and p as follows assuming they are all expressed in the same units h equals p 2 q equals f 2 plus h 2 s equals h q f plus f lane h plus q f display style begin aligned h and equals frac p 2 q and equals s q r t f caret 2 plus h caret 2 s and equals frac h q f plus f lane left frac h plus q f right end aligned this quantity s is the length of the arc between x X and the vertex of the parabola. The length of the arc between x and the symmetrically opposite point on the other side of the parabola is 2s. The perpendicular distance, p, can be given a positive or negative sign to indicate on which side of the axis of symmetry x is situated. Reversing the sign of p reverses the signs of h and s without changing their absolute values. If these quantities are signed, the length of the arc between any two points on the parabola is always shown by the difference between their values of s. The calculation can be simplified by using the properties of logarithms s 1 minus s 2 equals h 1 q 1 minus h 2 q 2 
f plus f lane h 1 plus q 1 h 2 plus q 2 Display style s underscore one s underscore two equals frac h underscore one q underscore one h underscore two q underscore two f plus f lane frac h underscore one plus q underscore one h underscore two plus q underscore two. This can be useful, for example, in calculating the size of the material needed to make a parabolic reflector or parabolic trough. This calculation can be used for a parabola in any orientation. It is not restricted to the situation where the axis of symmetry is parallel to the y-axis. A geometrical construction to find a sector area S is the focus and V is the principal vertex of the parabola VG. Draw Vx perpendicular to Sv. Take any point B on Vg and drop a perpendicular BQ from B to Vx. Draw perpendicular street intersecting BQ, extended if necessary, at T at B draw the perpendicular BJ, intersecting Vx at J. For the parabola, the segment VBV, the area enclosed by the chord VB and the arc VB, is equal to increment VBQ, 3, also B Q equals V Q 2 4 S V Display style BQ equals frac VQ carrot two four SV. The area of the parabolic sector SVB equals increment SVB plus increment VBQ three equals S V V Q two plus V Q B Q six Display style equals frac S V C D O T V Q two plus frac V Q C D O T B Q six Since triangles T S B and Q B J are similar V J equals V Q minus J Q equals V Q minus B Q T B S T equals V Q minus B Q S V minus B Q V Q equals three V Q four plus V Q B Q four S V Display style V J equals V Q J Q equals V Q frac B Q C D O T T B street equals V Q frac B Q C D O T S V B Q V Q equals frac three V Q four plus frac V Q C D O T B Q four S V Therefore, the area of the parabolic sector S V B equals two S V V J three 
display style svb equals frac 2 sv c d o t v j 3 and can be found from the length of vj as found above a circle through s v and b also passes through j Conversely, if a point, B on the parabola VG is to be found so that the area of the sector SVB is equal to a specified value, determine the point J on VX, and construct a circle through S, V and J since SJ is the diameter, the center of the circle is at its midpoint, and it lies on the perpendicular bisector of SV, a distance of one half VJ from SV. The point required, B is where this circle intersects the parabola. If a body traces the path of the parabola due to an inverse square force directed towards S, the area SVB increases at a constant rate as point B moves forward. It follows that J moves at constant speed along Vx as B moves along the parabola. If the speed of the body at the vertex, where it is moving perpendicularly to S V is V, then the speed of J is equal to 3 V, 4. The construction can be extended simply to include the case where neither radius coincides with the axis, S V as follows. Let A be a fixed point on VG between V and B, and point H be the intersection on VX with the perpendicular to SA at A from the above, the area of the parabolic sector S A B equals 2 S V V J minus V H three equals two S V H J three Display style sab equals frac two S V C D O T V J V H three equals frac two S V C D O T H J three Conversely, if it is required to find the point B for a particular area SAB, find point J from HJ and point B as before. By Book 1 Proposition 16, Corollary 6 of the Principia, the speed of a body moving along a parabola with a force directed towards the focus is inversely proportional to the square root of the radius. If the speed at A is V, then at the vertex, V it is S a S V V Display style S Q R T frac saw S V V and point J moves at a constant speed of three V four S A S V Display style frac 3v 4 sqrt frac saw sv. The above construction was devised by Isaac Newton and can be found in Book One of the Principia as Proposition 30. Topic: Focal length and radius of curvature at the vertex. The focal length of a parabola is half of its radius of curvature at its vertex. Proof Consider a point x, y on a circle of radius r and with center at the point 0, r. The circle passes through the origin. If the point is near the origin, the Pythagorean theorem shows that x2 plus r minus y2 equals r2 x2 plus r2 minus 2 r y plus y2 equals r2 x2 plus y2 equals 2 r y. Display style begin aligned x caret 2 plus r y caret 2 and equals r caret 2. Therefore x caret 2 plus r caret 2 minus 2 rye plus y carrot 2 and equals r carrot 2 therefore x carrot 2 plus y carrot 2 and equals 2 rye end aligned but if x y is extremely close to the origin since the x axis is a tangent to the circle y is very small compared with x so y2 is negligible compared with the other terms therefore extremely close to the origin x 2 equals 2 r y 
Display style x caret two equals two ry. Equation one. Compare this with the parabola. X two equals four f y. Display style x caret two equals four f y. Equation two, which has its vertex at the origin, opens upward and has focal length f. See preceding sections of this article. Equations 1 and 2 are equivalent if r equals 2f. Therefore, this is the condition for the circle and parabola to coincide at and extremely close to the origin. The radius of curvature at the origin, which is the vertex of the parabola, is twice the focal length. Corollary a concave mirror which is a small segment of a sphere behaves approximately like a parabolic mirror, focusing parallel light to a point which is midway between the center and the surface of the sphere. As the affine image of the unit parabola Another definition of a parabola uses affine transformations. Any parabola is the affine image of the unit parabola with equation y equals x two. Display style y equals x caret two. An affine transformation of the Euclidean plane has the form x f zero plus a x Display style VEC x two VEC F underscore zero plus A VEC x where A display style A is a regular matrix determinant is not zero and F zero display style VEC F underscore zero is an arbitrary vector if F one F two Display style VEC F underscore one VEC F underscore two are the column vectors of the matrix A Display style A The unit parabola T T two T element of r display style t t caret 2 t in math b b r is mapped onto the parabola x equals p t equals f 0 plus f 1 t plus f 2 t 2 display style vec x equals vec p t equals vec f underscore 0 plus vec f underscore 1 t plus vec f underscore 2 t caret 2 f 0 Display style VEC F underscore zero is a point of the parabola and F one Display style VEC F underscore one is a tangent vector at point F zero Display style VEC F underscore zero F two Display style VEC F underscore two is parallel to the axis of the parabola, axis of symmetry through the vertex. In general, the two vectors F one F two display style VEC F underscore one VEC F underscore two are not perpendicular and F 0 
display style vec f underscore zero is not the vertex unless the affine transformation is a similarity. The tangent vector at the point p t display style vec p t is p t equals f 1 plus 2 t f 2 display style vec p t equals vec f underscore 1 plus 2 t vec f underscore 2 at the vertex the tangent vector is orthogonal to f 2 display style vec f underscore 2 hence the parameter t 0 display style t underscore 0 of the vertex is the solution of the equation p t f 2 equals f 1 f 2 plus 2 t f 2 2 equals 0 display style vec p t c d o t vec f underscore 2 equals vec f underscore 1 c d o t vec f underscore 2 plus 2 t vec f underscore 2 caret 2 equals 0 which is t 0 equals minus f 1 f 2 2 f 2 2 Display style t underscore zero equals t f r a c v e c f underscore one c d o t v e c f underscore two two v e c f underscore two caret two and p t zero equals f zero minus f one F two two F two two F one plus F one F two two four F two 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 F two Display style VEC P T underscore zero equals VEC F underscore zero T F R A C VEC F underscore one C D O T VEC F underscore two two VEC F underscore two carrot two VEC F underscore one plus T F R A C VEC F underscore one C D O T VEC F underscore two carrot two four VEC F underscore two carrot two carrot two VEC F underscore two is the vertex the focal length can be determined by a suitable parameter transformation which does not change the geometric shape of the parabola the focal length is f equals f 1 2 f 2 2 minus f 1 f 2 2 4 f 2 3 
Display style f equals t f r a c v e c f underscore one carrot two c d o t v e c f underscore two carrot two v e c f underscore one c d o t v e c f underscore two carrot two four v e c f underscore two carrot three. Hence f f zero minus f 1 f 2 2 f 2 2 f 1 plus f 1 2 f 2 2 4 F two 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 F two Display style F VEC F underscore zero T F R A C VEC F underscore one C D O T VEC F underscore two two VEC F underscore two carrot two VEC F underscore one plus T F R A C VEC F underscore one carrot two C D O T VEC F underscore two carrot two four VEC F underscore underscore two carrot two carrot two VEC F underscore two is the focus of the parabola. Remark, the advantage of this definition is, one obtains a simple parametric representation of an arbitrary parabola, even in the space, if the vectors F zero F one F two Display style VEC F underscore zero VEC F underscore one VEC F underscore two are vectors of the Euclidean space. Topic as quadratic Bezier curve. A quadratic Bezier curve is a curve C T display style vec c t defined by three points p zero p zero display style p underscore zero vec p underscore zero p one p one Display style p underscore one vec p underscore one and p two p two display style p underscore two vec p underscore two its control points c t equals i equals zero two two I T I one minus T two minus I P I equals one minus T Two P zero plus two T one minus T P one plus T two P two equals P Zero minus two P one plus P two T two plus minus two P 
zero plus two P one T plus P zero T element of zero one display style begin aligned VEC C T and equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot two Banam two I T carrot I one T carrot two I VEC P underscore I and equals one T carrot two VEC P underscore zero plus two T one T VEC P underscore one plus T carrot two Two VEC P underscore two and equals VEC P underscore zero minus two VEC P underscore one plus VEC P underscore two T carrot two plus minus two VEC P underscore zero plus two VEC P underscore one T plus VEC P underscore zero text T in zero one end aligned this curve as an arc of a parabola c section is the affine image of the unit parabola topic <laughs> numerical integration in one method of numerical integration one replaces the graph of a function by arcs of parabolas and integrates the parabola arcs a parabola is determined by 3 points the formula for one arc is a b f x d x approximately equals b minus a 6 f a plus 4 f a plus B two plus F B Display style int underscore a carrot B F X D X approximately frac B A six C D O T left F A plus four F left frac A plus B two right plus F B right The method is called Simpson's rule. Topic as plane section of quadric. The following quadrics contain parabolas as plane sections: elliptical cone, parabolic cylinder, elliptical paraboloid, hyperbolic paraboloid, hyperboloid of one sheet, hyperboloid of two sheets. Topic as trisectrics. A parabola can be used as a trisectrix, that is, it allows the exact trisection of an arbitrary angle with straightedge and compass. This is not in contradiction to the impossibility of an angle trisection with compass and straightedge constructions alone, as the use of parabolas is not allowed in the classic rules for compass and straightedge constructions. To trisect A O B display style angle A O B place its leg O B display style O B on the x axis such that the vertex O display style O is in the coordinate system's origin. The coordinate system also contains the parabola y equals 2 x 2 display style y equals 2 x caret 2 the unit circle with radius 1 around the origin intersects the angle's other leg o a display style o a and from this point of intersection draw the perpendicular onto the y-axis. The parallel to y-axis through the midpoint of that perpendicular and the tangent on the unit circle in 0 1 display style 0 1 intersect in c display style c 
the circle around c display style c with radius o c display style oc intersects the parabola in p 1 display style p underscore 1 the perpendicular from p 1 display style p underscore 1 onto the x axis intersects the unit circle in p 2 display style p underscore 2 and p 2 o b display style angle p underscore 2 o is exactly one third of a o b display style angle a o b the correctness of this construction can be seen by showing that the x coordinate of p 1 display style p underscore 1 is cuz alpha display style cuz alpha solving the equation system given by the circle around c display style c and the parabola leads to the cubic equation 4 x 3 minus 3 x minus cos 3 alpha equals 0 display style 4 x caret 3 minus 3 x cos 3 alpha equals 0 the triple angle formula cos 3 alpha equals 4 cos alpha 3 minus 3 cos alpha display style cos 3 alpha equals 4 cos alpha caret 3 minus 3 cos alpha then shows that cos alpha display style cos alpha is indeed a solution of that cubic equation. This trisection goes back to René Descartes who described it in his book La Geometria 1637. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. If one replaces the real numbers by an arbitrary field, many geometric properties of the parabola y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 are still valid 1 a line intersects in at most two points 2 at any point x 0 x 0 2 Display style x underscore zero x underscore zero carrot two. The line y equals two x zero x minus x zero two. Display style y equals two x underscore zero x x underscore zero carrot two is the tangent. Essentially, new phenomena arise if the field has characteristic two, i.e., one plus one equals zero. Display style one plus one equals zero. The tangents are all parallel. In algebraic geometry, the parabola is generalized by the rational normal curves, which have coordinates x, x2, x3, xn. The standard parabola is the case n equals 2, and the case n equals 3 is known as the twisted cubic. 
A further generalization is given by the Veronese variety, when there is more than one input variable. In the theory of quadratic forms, the parabola is the graph of the quadratic form x2 or other scalings, while the elliptic paraboloid is the graph of the positive definite quadratic form x2 plus y2 or scalings and the hyperbolic paraboloid is the graph of the indefinite quadratic form x2 minus y2. Generalizations to more variables yield further such objects. The curves y topic xp for other values of p are traditionally referred to as the higher parabolas, and were originally treated implicitly, in the form xp k y q for p and q both positive integers, in which form they are seen to be algebraic curves. These correspond to the explicit formula y. Topic x p q for a positive fractional power of x. Negative fractional powers correspond to the implicit equation x p y q. K and are traditionally referred to as higher hyperbolas. Analytically, x can also be raised to an irrational power for positive values of x. The analytic properties are analogous to when x is raised to rational powers, but the resulting curve is no longer algebraic, and cannot be analyzed via algebraic geometry. In the physical world In nature, approximations of parabolas and paraboloids are found in many diverse situations. The best known instance of the parabola in the history of physics is the trajectory of a particle or body in motion under the influence of a uniform gravitational field without air resistance for instance, a ball flying through the air, neglecting air friction. The parabolic trajectory of projectiles was discovered experimentally in the early 17th century by Galileo, who performed experiments with balls rolling on inclined planes. He also later proved this mathematically in his book Dialogue Concerning Two New Sciences. For objects extended in space, such as a diver jumping from a diving board, the object itself follows a complex motion as it rotates, but the center of mass of the object nevertheless forms a parabola. As in all cases in the physical world, the trajectory is always an approximation of a parabola. The presence of air resistance, for example, always distorts the shape, although at low speeds, the shape is a good approximation of a parabola. At higher speeds, such as in ballistics, the shape is highly distorted and doesn't resemble a parabola. Another hypothetical situation in which parabolas might arise, according to the theories of physics described in the 17th and 18th centuries by Sir Isaac Newton, is in two body orbits, for example the path of a small planetoid or other object under the influence of the gravitation of the Sun. Parabolic orbits do not occur in nature, simple orbits most commonly resemble hyperbolas or ellipses. The parabolic orbit is the degenerate intermediate case between those two types of ideal orbit. An object following a parabolic orbit would travel at the exact escape velocity of the object it orbits. Objects in elliptical or hyperbolic orbits travel at less or greater than escape velocity, respectively. Long-period comets travel close to the Sun's escape velocity while they are moving through the inner solar system, so their paths are near parabolic. Approximations of parabolas are also found in the shape of the main cables on a simple suspension bridge. The curve of the chains of a suspension bridge is always an intermediate curve between a parabola and a catenary, but in practice the curve is generally nearer to a parabola, and in calculations the second-degree parabola is used. Under the influence of a uniform load, such as a horizontal suspended deck, the otherwise catenary-shaped cable is deformed toward a parabola. 
Unlike an inelastic chain, a freely hanging spring of zero unstressed length takes the shape of a parabola. Suspension bridge cables are, ideally, purely in tension, without having to carry other, e.g., bending, forces. Similarly, the structures of parabolic arches are purely in compression. Paraboloids arise in several physical situations as well. The best known instance is the parabolic reflector, which is a mirror or similar reflective device that concentrates light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation to a common focal point, or conversely, collimates light from a point source at the focus into a parallel beam. The principle of the parabolic reflector may have been discovered in the 3rd century BC by the geometer Archimedes, who, according to a dubious legend, constructed parabolic mirrors to defend Syracuse against the Roman fleet, by concentrating the sun's rays to set fire to the decks of the Roman ships. The principle was applied to telescopes in the 17th century. Today, paraboloid reflectors can be commonly observed throughout much of the world in microwave and satellite dish receiving and transmitting antennas. In parabolic microphones, a parabolic reflector is used to focus sound onto a microphone, giving it highly directional performance. Paraboloids are also observed in the surface of a liquid confined to a container and rotated around the central axis. In this case, the centrifugal force causes the liquid to climb the walls of the container, forming a parabolic surface. This is the principle behind the liquid mirror telescope. Aircraft used to create a weightless state for purposes of experimentation, such as NASA's Vomit Comet, follow a vertically parabolic trajectory for brief periods in order to trace the course of an object in free fall, which produces the same effect as zero gravity for most purposes. In the United States, vertical curves in roads are usually parabolic by design. Gallery Click on any image to enlarge it. Topic. See also Catenary Degenerate conic Ellipse Hyperbola Liquid mirror telescope, paraboloids produced by rotation Parabolic dome Parabolic partial differential equation Parabolic reflector Paraboloid Quadratic equation Quadratic function Universal parabolic constant Topic. Footnotes Topic. Citations Topic. Further reading Lockwood, E. H. 1961. A Book of Curves. Cambridge University Press. Topic. External links Hazewinkle, McKeel, ed. 2001 1994. Parabola. Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer Science Plus Business Media BV. Kluwer Academic Publishers, ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4. Weistein, Eric W. Parabola. Mathworld. Interactive Parabola Drag Focus, See Axis of Symmetry, Directrix, Standard and Vertex Forms Archimedes Triangle and Squaring of Parabola at Cut the Knot Two Tangents to Parabola at Cut the Knot Parabola as Envelope of Straight Lines at Cut the Knot Parabolic Mirror at Cut the Knot Three Parabola Tangents at Cut the Knot Focal properties of parabola at cut the knot Parabola as envelope 2 at cut the knot 
The similarity of parabola at dynamic geometry sketches, interactive dynamic geometry sketch. Franz van Schooten, Mathematische Effeningen, 1659.